Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West Channel. Well, if you saw my video yesterday where I took the red oak and split it into 32 pieces, broke those pieces apart, made some batonings and some shavings, got a fire going and cooked up some char cloth. That was the last scene from yesterday. So today what I wanna do is go ahead and try out three of the fire makers that we made. I wanna try out this red oak ash for a fire roll. And and we'll go ahead and try out this char cloth. It's not completely cooked. So that means I did not have enough heat to completely char it. Same thing with the punk wood. I don't know if you can, I don't know if you could see the parts that are not charred. It'll still work though, and I'm gonna prove that to you. Let's make three different fires. I got a small chert flake right here and my steel made out of a Nicholson file. We're gonna cast sparks down onto this charred punk wood. So I'm gonna take these little pieces, stick them down in here first. And then put another couple pieces with it. Save the other pieces. All right, let's cast some sparks. So you can see the charred punk wood is not hurt just because it did not get fully charred. I'm gonna need another stove, aren't I? All right, now let's go for the fire roll. I like to use a half of a cotton ball. Just a quarter teaspoon of ashes. And then a little bit of ashes on the bottom board.
Got a pretty good wind blowing. Maybe that'll send it to flames. Let's go ahead and try some flint and steel now with this char cloth that's not cooked all the way through. See if we can do this up close. The reason it's smoking like that is because it's so much of it's not charred, but it still caught a spark pretty easily. All right, y'all, before you leave the channel today, please subscribe, hit the notifications bell, and in that drop-down list, select all. And please give the video a like. I appreciate you joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one.